Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyam. Today in this video we have one very very interesting quartic equation problem. So let's get started. I will take these two terms to the RHS. So I can write x power 4 minus 2x square equal to 3 minus 8x. Now we will use one algebraic manipulation step we can add one to both sides so that LHS will produce one perfect square of x square minus 1 and RHS will be 3 plus 1 is 4 minus 8x. Now we will write our LHS x square minus 1 whole square. Now we will be adding y square a square plus b square plus 2ab. So we will write 2y x square minus 1. So we have added y square plus 2y times x square minus 1 in left hand side. So we will add the same in RHS y square plus 2y times x square minus 1. Then we have 4 minus 8x 8x. Now left hand side is again one perfect square. If we will assume x square minus 1 is a, y is b, then 2y times x square minus 1 is 2ab term, a square plus b square plus 2ab. We can write a plus b whole square. So x square minus 1 plus y whole square. This is our LHS. And RHS will write quadratic in x. So we can write here 2y x square minus 8x plus y square minus 2y plus 4. Let's say this is our equation number 1. Left hand side is one perfect square. So we can put delta equal to 0 or discriminant equal to 0 for our RHS. So I can compare our RHS expression with a standard AX square plus BX plus C. We can write A will be equal to 2Y, B will be equal to negative 8, C will be equal to Y square minus 2Y plus 4. Now discriminant is B square minus 4AC. So let me write here b square minus 4ac equal to 0. b was negative 8. We will write minus 8 whole square minus 4 times a was 2y. We will write here 2y and c was y square minus 2y plus 4 equal to 0. Minus 8 square is 64. Minus 4 times 2 is 8. We will write 8y in the bracket. y square minus 2y plus 4 equal to 0. We can take 8 common. So if we will take 8 common in the bracket, we will be writing 8 minus y bracket y square minus 2y plus 4 equal to 0 or we can write 8 minus y cube plus 2y square minus 4y equal to 0. Now we can multiply both sides by negative 1. So let me write here negative 1 and here we will write times minus 1. So we are going to get one cubic equation in y y cube minus 2y square plus 4y minus 8 equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation. We can use method of factorization from first two terms. We can take y square common. So in the bracket we will write y minus 2. From last two terms we can take 4 common out. So we will be getting y minus 2 once again in the bracket equal to 0. 
So y minus 2 is overall common. We will write y square plus 4 in other bracket equal to 0. Now we can use product 0 root. So we will be writing either y minus 2 equal to 0 or y square plus 4 equal to 0. So from our first equation, we can write y will be equal to 2. And from second equation, I can write y square equal to negative 4. Now square is negative means complex solutions are about to come. So we can write here, this is i square times 2 square or we can write 2i whole square. Left hand side is y square. We will take a square root both sides and we can write directly y will be equal to plus minus 2i. Complex values. So we are going to take y equal to 2. Let me write here y equal to 2. And this value of y we are going to put in equation number 1. Equation number 1 was x square minus 1 plus y whole square. This was LHS and RHS was 2y x square minus 8x plus y square minus 2y plus 4. Let's plug in y equal to 2. So we will get x square minus 1 plus 2 whole square in LHS. In RHS we will be writing 2 times 2 times x square minus 8x plus 2 square minus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 4. So we can cancel plus and minus 4 from RHS. And here we can write x square plus 1 whole square in the LHS. This will be equal to 4x square minus 8x plus 2 square is 4. Now we can take 4 common out. So in the bracket we are going to write x square minus 2x plus 1. So we can write 4 as 2 square and x square minus 2x plus 1 is x minus 1 whole square. So left hand side is x square plus 1 whole square. Right hand side is 2 times x minus 1 and then complete square. Now we are going to consider square root both sides. So we will be writing x square plus 1 is equal to plus minus 2 times x minus 1. Let me write here x square plus 1 equal to plus minus 2 times x minus 1. So we can write two equations from here. One with positive RHS plus 2 times x minus 1, another with minus 2 times x minus 1. So let us write x square plus 1 equal to plus 2 times x minus 1. And second equation we can write x square plus 1 equal to minus 2 times x minus 1. Let's simplify. We will write x square plus 1 equal to 2x minus 2. Now I will take 2x to the LHS and 1 to the RHS. So I can write x square minus 2x will be equal to minus 1 minus 2. So I can write x square minus 2x equal to minus 3. Now I will use completing the square method once again. I need to add 1 
to both sides. Left hand side would be x minus 1 whole square and right hand side would be minus 2. So let me write this equation here. Again square is negative. We will write RHS in terms of i as we can write this is i square root 2 whole square. As we know i square is negative 1. So once we will expand i square root 2 whole square i square times 2 i square is minus 1 so minus 2. Now we will take square root both sides and we will write x minus 1 equal to plus minus i square root 2. We have to add 1 to both sides we will be getting x equal to 1 plus minus i square root 2. First two complex solutions. Now we are going to consider our second equation. x square plus 1 equal to minus 2 times x minus 1. x square plus 1 equal to minus 2 times x minus 1. Again we will write x square plus 1 will be equal to minus 2x plus 2. We will take minus 2x to the LHS and 1 to the RHS. So x square plus 2x will be equal to 2 minus 1. I can write 1. We have to add 1 to both sides. Now LHS will give us x plus 1 whole square this time. And RHS is 2. We will take square root both sides. We will be getting x plus 1 equal to plus minus square root of 2. Now by subtracting 1 from both sides we are going to get two real solutions minus 1 plus minus square root 2. So two real plus two complex overall four solutions. If I will write all the four here it is. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.